Okay, hello Taurus, Twin Flames. Uh, if you are a feminine Twin Flame um, or a cross watcher, you are watching the feminine Taurus here. Um, and if you are a feminine Taurus, you are watching for your masculine who can be of any sign. Um, so today I bring to you um, a new deck here that I got on Etsy um, from Amy, a really great, fantastic seller. Um, she was so kind and everything was so wonderful. Um, but these decks are very beautiful. They are very accurate so far from what I have um, been working with them on. And we're going to learn about how your masculine feels for you in their 5D space. Um, their love feelings, their desires, their thoughts and emotions um, with this deck. So we'll begin um, by getting into uh, a reading about your masculine Taurus and um, energetically we'll kind of feel what's going on with the feminine as well to see how you guys are pulling together. Um, but yeah, go ahead and um, check out that description box below guys because um, I still have that March uh, that March Madness, as it were, going on um, where you can win a free reading. So just go back down in that description box to see how you can do that. Um, and it's real simple, you know, it's just commenting, liking, uh, and sharing, and subscribing to the channel, and you're automatically um, in. So just read that description box below to find out more information. And I do have a website coming up where you guys can book your readings much more faster and um, and more, you know, more efficiently. So let's get started on you, Taurus, on um, your twin flame, and we'll see what's going on with your masculines. So far, I'm getting the Knight of Swords. So here we're getting swift action. So your masculine is looking to take some kind of action here. Let's find out what that's about. Wow. Wow. So, um, a lot of heavy energy here. Definitely, we have that full moon. Um, so, a lot of, a lot of heavy energy going on here. Um, we do have that there is going to be a fruitful abundance of some kind. There is some blossoming energy here um, as, as your main energy for your masculine um, with that nine of pentacles. And... Basically what it's saying is that there is going to be a reward out of all the work that your masculine has been doing up to this point. We had cards flying all over the place. Um, so we have the Fool, we have new beginnings here, we have a Wanderlust here, we have your masculine wanting to move forward, wanting to venture outward to take a journey. Um, and in relation to this, so they are heavy on the action here, Taurus. Your masculine definitely has this active, adventurous spirit. They definitely have this energy where they have to come in full force and charge at whatever it is that they are seeking to do. So let's try to figure out what that action is in regards to. And we have the full, like I said, like new journeys, um, new beginnings here. Um, wonder, them wondering about what else is out there, them wondering about their path in front of them. Because we also have the Three of Wands, and the Three of Wands gives us um, looking ahead, rapid growth. They are growing, <coughs> excuse me, they are growing very intensely here. They are in a an energy where they are seeking an outward expansion of their path and of their life. Um, they are looking to take this very rapid movement, swift movement action here, um, looking out towards new horizons here, creating, maybe manifesting a new life for them. Um, but definitely looking ahead. They are looking out towards a new future here. They are looking out towards a new um, journey, which means that some cycles are going to be closing up here karmically. We have the Four of Pentacles. So there's an attachment here in regards to 
um, their material world. So, you know, someone asked me, they're like, you know, you can't just say attachment. You can't just say, oh, they're attached to something. Well, this energy isn't just, it's, this is a, a general overall reading. And so this can mean a number of things. It could mean attachments financially, uh, attachments materially, attachments in the 3D, physically with another partner, um, things that they just cannot let go of in their mental space and in their physical space. So um, any form of attachment can be relevant here. Um, and so your masculine is in a situation where they are ready to make this movement, they are ready to come away from this 3D energy, 3D world, and venture out to a new beginning, a new journey. And we have, you know, the Queen of Wands. And so here, the Queen of Wands is going to give you um, a lot of passion here. Your masculine is very courageous. They have a passion for what they want to go for, for what action they're going to take. So there is a passion here with your masculine. They are very passionate about this journey, very passionate about what they're, where they are going. And we have this tradition here with the Hierophant. So your masculine is very traditional, I'm seeing. They, they could be involved in a traditional um, relationship right now, which is why they are still attached here physically to something in the 3D, to a uh, karmic partner, to um, a soulmate, to somebody else, you know, that's in their life um, away from their twin flame. But they have a lot of passion here. They have a lot of determination to move forward, to move on, to journey to a new beginning here. Um, and so for you, and Taurus, I definitely feel like there is something going on with your masculine where they have this traditional tie. So they do have a traditional tie here to some um, some karmic energy because this is society here and society is definitely a part of that karmic energy. It's a part of that 3D realm, not 5D, um, not with your masculine. Um, with their feminine. So we have Knight of Cups. So yeah, a lot of um, romantic energy here as well. Um, following your heart. So your masculine wants to follow their heart. We already know that they're passionate about this. We already know that they want to take this new journey, this new step, this new beginning. They want to take action here. And they're trying to, they're in this stuck attached energy with this traditional relationship that they are in and they want to follow their heart to somewhere else they want to move away they want to leave out of that situation and pursue a new life here um, they are looking outwards now and look the world like I said cycles are going to be completed I didn't even see this card so I'm telling you now that your masculine is in process of completing a cycle um, and embracing a more harmonious journey here, a more harmonious pathway to following their heart, to coming out of this tradition here where they're at. And they're very, you know, lots of passion. This puts a lot of power behind their movements here. So there is a completion to a cycle. And the chariot. So... We're seeing a lot of major arcana here, and that's well, that's a, a big part. That's a lot of energy. But we do see them, this yin and yang here. We do see a balancing of these energies. So your masculine is definitely honing in on this spiritual power. They're honing in on um, what it is that they're going to get out of life, and they're balancing all of this out. Um, as it comes to full circle, as it comes to a completion here, harmony in the energy. Anything else for the masculine for Taurus? Oh yeah.
Yeah. Six of Swords as the last card on the um, bottom of the deck. So we do have movement. We do have them moving on. We do have them leaving, leading a new life. So Queen of Swords, lots of queens here. Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. Um, and we have the Six oops, we have the, uh, the six of Cups as well. So we have memories here. We have the past, them breaking away from the past, them making peace with the past. Um, them reminiscing on it and feeling nostalgic about it, but at the same time remembering what came of the past, remembering the pain, the hurt, the heartbreak um, in the past. <laughs> Sorry. But, yeah, we do hear, hear they are healing the past. They are forming from it. They are growing from it. They are moving away. We have this rapid growth and expansion. Um, and we have a Queen of Swords here. And with the Queen of Swords, we have that they are becoming more clear-headed here in regards to this situation, in regards to this connection and to everything that's going on in their life. It's like they finally had that aha moment and they've realized this pursuit that they have been following, these material gains that they've been attached to, um, this traditional relationship that they've been involved in, does not, it does not compare to what is in their heart. They want to follow their heart. They want to make an action, take action and make movement, strong, passionate movement towards their feminine, towards their mission, their path, and their a new journey here. A fool's journey because they don't, they haven't taken this journey before. Um, so I really, really do feel like they are taking on um, new life with this energy here. I feel like my camera's a little blurry. I think my son was messing with this and I... I don't know what he did to it, but I might have to go back and look at that. But you should still be able to see pretty clearly what's going on. So for Taurus, let's get some energy from the masculine here to their journey pathway. Um, what's going on with this movement? What are they doing in regards to taking that movement? Yeah, so blessing abundance, there's going to be reward out of what your masculine is headed towards. So we definitely have them coming out of this successfully. They are building up that strength here. Um, this first chakra, this um, Archangel Michael gives you strength. So your masculine definitely is calling upon that strength. They are motivated to lead the life that they desire, to follow their heart, to get out of that energy that they were in, to pursue this, to pursue this abundance, to pursue this happiness, things that fill their lives with true fulfillment here, this blossoming abundance that they see in their future. And they're definitely drawing in on some sacred knowledge here, some sacred wisdom. Like I said, they're waking up to new ideas here. They're waking up to this aha moment, like I said, to finally choose the path that leads them and guides them with their heart. And I definitely feel like they are opening up these spaces here um, to let all of that in. They're seeking this new knowledge, this new wisdom. Um in order to follow their desires. And look, we have them strategizing here. We have a plan being set. So your masculine is setting a plan. They're taking action. There is movement. They are, there is a strategy here that they are working on to come forward, to move forward. We see their hearts opening. So they are strategizing here to make a move with their heart. So we have their hearts opening to you. We have that door being open here, that opportunity for romance with your masculine. So they are planning and strategizing to make a gesture here to let you know that they are in 
um, that they want to either come back or they want to be a part of your life romantically here because we have them offering their heart here. We have that door being revealed, the pathway to love and um, desire. Yeah, we have woman holding a coin. So they plan on following their heart to the woman that they find valuable, most valuable in their life, the feminine. So we definitely have that they're looking out towards a female, a feminine character here who holds a lot of value for them. Coin, money, that those things are valuable in the, you know, the 3D world. But as a symbol... This is a very valuable feminine. And look, the thinking men. So this is what they're thinking about. They are thinking about the feminine. They're thinking about this romance, this desire. Thinking about pursuing, moving on with their hearts here. Um, and they're thinking really hard about this. They're thinking a lot about you. They're thinking about how they can move forward and create all of this abundance almost like starting over and they're very envious here they are they feel like they're in this darkness and they want to come out into the light they want to be where you are they have an envy for that life they have an envy for being the one that is seated next to you they definitely see themselves out here in this light with their feminine, their hearts, their stores opening to them, and they are thinking, strategizing, building strength to do this, to fulfill their purpose, their mission, um, and to lead a more, like I said, abundant, fulfilling life with the feminine that they adore, that they, I feel like I just get that word adore and value. What else is going on here, Taurus? Taurus. Okay. So some of your masculines aren't feeling very worthy here. They need to be, they are getting a message that you are good enough. So they might not feel good enough for you, that they are worthy of you. So <clears throat> we do have that conclusions are within reach here. So that cycle is closing out. That cycle is completing. They are still working with some fears and anxieties about not being good enough. But those conclusions are soon to come to pass because we also have you are very close to achieving your goal. So they're very close to getting out of that situation. They're very close to getting out of that energy um, and to moving on. Anything else for the masculines? And it's time to take action. The very last card in the bottom of the deck. Yeah, taking action here. Your masculines are taking action. And a time to get uh, to give rather than take. So now they're going to start giving of their energy, giving of their heart. Whereas before they were masked, they were hidden from you. They didn't show who they truly were. Well, now it is time for them to give. Instead of just receiving all of the love you have to offer, they will turn that around. That energy will change. And they're going to begin to give back in this connection. Because I'm feeling like for many of you out there, they have had this tendency to just take and take and take of your energy, of your love, of your offerings that you were bringing to them, but they were not giving back. So now it is time. They are turning around. They are changing that. The dynamic is going to flip where they begin to give, finally. Okay, so for masculines, for Taurus, feminines, and masculines, this journey is going on. So we have appreciation. Yeah, your twin is finally appreciating you. Like I said, for many of you, you need to hear this, that your twin is turning around 
that they're flipping that dynamic here. They're beginning to appreciate their feminines. They're beginning to see that they were hurting them by their behavior, by what they have been doing. And they have, they're regretting this. This to them is a loss. It's a regret. Um, they're beginning to make empowered choices here. So they're building up that strength, like I said, but they have so much remorse about the past, and that was something that they needed to let go of. And they're ascending, expanding. So we had that card there in the tarot deck about how they were expanding and growing um, and transitioning. And so there's a lot of growth here for your masculine. They're moving away from that old dynamic, from that old way in the past that they were to a new, better version of themselves. Um, so we have kids and resolving family stress. So your masculines, for many of them, they're healing this past. They're healing this uh, family stress that is going on. Um, so for those who are in separation, for many of them, they are still dealing with a lot of family issues. And they are dealing with a lot of repressed emotions and a f that fear and anxiety of um, rejection here. So they are still in denial for many of them and that's part of that attachment that they need to let go of. Um, they need to let go of that being afraid of rejection. They need to let go of the past and they have a lot of repressed emotions that they have not expressed that needs to be taken care of. And we have forgive here. So peace of mind, freedom from the past. So more freedom of the past here, more regret and um, remorse. So this needs to be let go of for them also. They need to forgive themselves. They um, want to seek forgiveness. They have, you know, that action, that movement. So for you guys, they definitely... This is, these are things that they are clearing out. These are things that are happening. So there is going to be an offering out of all of this. So we have all this beautiful energy, all this occurring to wind up here with an offer. And it says rejoice in your union. So there is going to be a union planned. There is a union planned here by the universe for the, um, for the both of you. And they're ascending out of this old karma, out of this old energy that no longer serves them. You know, going through all of these cycles, they are being closed and um, completed here to make room for this new journey, to make room for this new place that they're going to have and they're going to offer here to their feminines. Like I said, they're giving now instead of just receiving. Any last things for the masculine, for the Taurus feminine? Any last message from here, from them? Yeah, just the learning lessons here. So we have outcome that fell out first. Um, so yeah, outcome, results, conclusion, ending, getting a resolution. We saw with these cards here that there was, you're very close to achieving your goal and conclusions are within reach. So we have multiple cards here, the world card, all about completion. So this is something that the universe is definitely pouring out here. This message is very powerful because we have everything, one card after the other, verifying the previous messages, telling you that this conclusion is happening. They're closing those that past. They're closing that karma, that karmic cycle. Big goals. They have big goals in their lives right now. This is part of their focus. Like I said, they were holding on to, they were attached to their material world. So they do have some goals that they're trying to reach here. And that, this even said, I believe that your goals are within reach. So they're almost there, guys. They are really, really close. And their perceptions about this um, relationship, about this connection, are changing. They're changing that perception. They're moving on to something bigger. They're seeing the bigger picture overall. They're seeing this connection with their feminine in a different way now because they're going through these lessons. They're going through this karma. They are expanding. They are growing. They are learning new knowledge here, gaining new knowledge um, that is rapidly expanding them. They're ascending here. They're changing.
mask illusion looking me on superficial. So they're finally getting out of this deception, this illusion, this mask that's kind of been pulled over their eyes here um, in regards to what is supposed to be important in society. So they're coming away from this deception of the 3D world here to move into the truth, to move into the light with their feminines. So they're waking up here, guys. They're having an awakening moment here. Sometimes I see this as, you know, yeah, the masculine is deceiving the feminine. They didn't want to reveal their true feelings. But in this case, I really truly do feel like it's in regards to um, them pulling off their own mask. Them no longer being deceived by this three three-dimensional world. Loss of self, discovering yourself again. Yeah, so in the separation, they're discovering who they are. They're lost. There's this forgiveness um, that they're looking for. Um, regret. So they do have a lot of loss. They are suffering regardless of how they've made it seem. Um, and they are trying to let go and relieve the past to move forward into something greater. And we have sunny side. Your answers arrive in the summer. So for many of you in this group, your masculines, they're going to finally be planning and strategizing by summertime. They're finally going to look to make an offering here. And obviously it'll, it'll take you by surprise. You, you won't be seeing this coming. Um, they definitely have something in store for you with this offering, with this energy that they have. So let's look at this new deck here, this 5D um, beautiful deck here with this heart and this reflection here um, of the heart. So for Taurus Feminines, for their Masculines, what are they feeling, um, thinking, what are they going through in the 5D, what is their true heart, their true desire. Mm. So here we get have patience this is not the end so if you guys are in separation which I'm feeling many of you are they're speaking to you here in the 5d saying have patience this is not the end this is not over we still have a chance here let's not give up um, and they have to work on their self right now we just got that card where it said self-healing they're going through self this self-worth they don't feel worthy and they are trying to build that up they are gaining that strength to do this and to move forward um, so they have to work on themselves right now and they're saying have patience during this time while they are working on them you work on you as well um, this is not over this is not the end why don't you reach out to me? So they are asking you to reach out to them in the 5D. They're asking you to reach out um, telepathically, spiritually, maybe in their dreams as well. Set your intentions and focus on that. Um, so they're craving for a connection with you. They're craving for communication with you, whether that's in the 5D or the 3D. Um, they really want to connect with you. They really want that contact. They're working on themselves right now. They're saying this isn't over. It's not the end. Just have patience. It's coming through. These conclusions are within reach here. Um, this completion is occurring. And so they're saying it's okay to reach out to them a little bit. Maybe on social media you just give them just a word of wisdom. For some of you, I feel like... Um, you might want to reach out to them if they are on a social platform. Maybe just, you know, placing a like on one of their posts just to know that you're still there. Um, so they still want some kind of contact here. Why don't you reach out to me? Four missions, four Taurus. says I never meant to hurt you so yeah we had that regret we had that loss that forgiveness card there they never meant to hurt you they were still an ego they still had a lot of issues to work out fears and anxieties they didn't want to be rejected so they rejected you first or they just never came clean with you um, and they didn't want to hurt you they realized how much it hurt you 
We have, my feelings for you are intense. So they have an intense love for you, intense desire. They do desire this connection. They do desire this relationship. But those cycles have to close first or they're just going to be bringing you just this negative energy, this karma, this drama that you don't want to be a part of. It wouldn't be good for you. I miss being comforted by you. Yeah, so they miss that comfort. They miss feeling that connection. They miss being within reach of you. They know how much they screwed up. They know how much they messed up. And they also know how much they love you, how much they desire you. Their feelings are so intense. Yeah, I love you more than you're aware. So, like I said, they... They didn't tell you completely how they felt. They weren't being open and honest, but their hearts are opening now. So they're trying to, their higher selves here are speaking to you. They're telling you that they love you more than you are aware. You might not be aware of this. They have not revealed their feelings to you. And they want you to know that that wasn't true, whatever they were um, pulling those rules over your eyes as well. But they love you more than you believe, more than they went on. Alright, yeah, so we get some rejection here, look at this. You left me out in the cold, so you must have turned your back on them for some of you. You must have walked away from this connection. And maybe it was coming to a point where they felt real close to you, where they felt real comfortable with you, but you just pulled the plug and you're like, no, I need to work on me, I need to be me, I need to figure out my own path here, my own journey to be happy away from all of this energy that your masculine was spitting out there because they weren't right with themselves. So they feel left out in the cold here. They need, you know, they know that they hurt you. They know that what what happened, they just, they regret it, you know. I don't feel like I'm good enough for you. Oh my gosh. I need to find that card now. <laughs> I, I don't know where it was, but it was like, it said, um, they don't feel worthy of you. They don't feel good enough for you. Um... I don't feel like I'm good enough for you. Definitely in that energy here. They don't have a lot of self-worth. They don't feel worthy. <sighs> That's beautiful that that just that came out there. That's just pouring out of their hearts. They regret what they did. They feel like they lost you. They didn't mean to hurt you. They feel left out in the cold. But you did the right thing because they needed to grow. They needed to expand. That triggered them into this expansion. That triggered them into the learning these lessons, into closing those cycles and getting away from that. Um, yeah, so see here we have rejection here with this card um, and regret, remorse. Um, you know... Uh, loss here, discover your true self, loss of self here, um, yeah, so they don't feel worthy at all when it comes to, see here, yeah, you are good enough, so for sure, I don't feel good enough, universe is saying you are good enough, and this is something that they are learning here, I miss our conversation. So for those who were talking to one another who are in silence now, um, they miss that connection. They miss those conversations. They, they replay them in their heads. They miss hearing your voice. They miss the, um, the talks that you guys had. Um, do you think about me too? So they wonder if you are thinking about them as much as they are thinking about you. So you are definitely in their thoughts. You're definitely in their mental space here. No matter where they are, they feel that connection. You inspire me to be the best version of myself. So I just said this as well, that they are out there, they are separated because they are trying to figure out themselves. They are pulling off that mask to reveal these delusions and this um, falsity of life into a newer version of themselves. They are growing into a newer, better version. 
unsure of your feelings for me. So they don't know if you still have feelings for them. They don't know if you love them. Maybe you didn't reveal your, feel your feelings either because you were afraid of rejection as well. Or because you waited for them to make the first move, to take the first step, but they never did. <coughs> so they're unsure of how you feel about them. So it's another block in this connection where they're like, oh, I don't know if I should take that step forward because I'm afraid they're going to reject me. I don't know how they feel. So that will be revealed to them as well when that mask is pulled off. They um, are, are going to know intuitively how you feel about them but it also helps when you push that energy out there as well and they're constantly wondering what you're up to so they are viewing you from a distance here they are you're always on their mind always in their thoughts and they wonder how you're doing they wonder what you're up to they're always thinking about you you are on their minds a lot and they have a lot of intense desire for you a lot of tense pent up energy in regards to their heart space and to love um so taurus feminines i really hope that this helped you out i hope that it gave you some insight into this connection especially with that full moon power um i really hope that it helped you to connect to them connect to the situation and to figure out what move you need to to make next so just working on you they're asking for patience uh, having patience in this time there it's not the end they're working on themselves right now um, they are becoming better versions of themselves because the version they were before there's a lot of regret loss pain too much just build up of toxic energy that they are clearing out um, so guys join me um, later on it will be either today or tomorrow um, I will be doing a full out twin flame reading for you all um, and it'll be for all signs so make sure you join me then a lot of powerful crucial energy here that's working its way in your masculines um, so like share and subscribe you'll be entered to win a free reading and um, and we'll see what we have coming up in this Twin Flame journey for March. Um, so guys, thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you so much, subscribers. You are awesome. This is amazing. Um, my website will be up soon, and it's going to be so incredible, guys. You're going to be able to go in there, say whatever you need to. We'll have healing and spiritual prayers by your brothers and sisters and out there and fellow Twin Flames and soulmates. Um, well, our, it's a gathering site as well as where you can get your readings um, and we can focus our intentions and motivate one another, um, write poems and short stories, whatever you like. Um, and so I'll have that up for you guys soon. It's going to be so awesome because you guys can finally just like put out your intentions, put your word out there. Because once you do that physically, in the physical, not just to yourself, you put that out there, it spreads and it manifests. So be on the lookout for that, guys. So again, I thank you so much for being here, and I cannot wait until next time. Thank you so much.